So you have to think everything that you're doing, how can you use AI to get that done so that you can become more productive and efficient so that we can grow and scale astronomically fast. And that's what happens when every person starts using AI and AI tools. What's your top five favorite AI tools and why? Oh, this is a good one. All right, ChatGPT is my favorite. Yep. When you know how to use it right, it yep. can do so many things from content creation, image creation, now video creation with Sora, AI agents, and they keep getting better. They are improving. Every every morning I woke, wake up, I'm like, what's the improvement to ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is my number one. My number two would be perplexity.ai for research. It's really great at research and sources, especially when you're doing something. Number three is gamma.app, G-A-M-M-A dot app. They make like the PowerPoints, right? It makes PowerPoints off of just one sentence. Wow. And under 30 seconds, and they look good. And what we do is we have our, our template in there, so it's made in our brand colors and our brand fonts in 30 wow. seconds. It, it takes me so long to do a PowerPoint by myself, but now I'm like, I'm doing a session on AI in the workplace and the, top, the give me the three key um, reasons why people need to be paying attention. Boom, pick my template that I want to use and out pops the best PowerPoint presentation. And the images are created with AI too, so they're completely unique. And the layout, the content, the yeah. images, everything done. So my number three would be gamma.app. My number four would be 11labs.io. Yeah. yeah. So 11labs, you can clone your voice. So I have a members only podcast for my community and I'm about to, to tell the secret right, that they don't know yet. But for my podcast, you know, my team knows how to write in my style and tone, as yeah. I told you that with ChatGPT. So they write the, it's an audio podcast with the latest updates in AI. So ChatGPT writes the podcast episode in my style and tone. It always starts off, hey, hey, it's Alicia. And then they put it in 11 Labs, which has my cloned voice. And then they submit the podcast episode and we're getting, you know, that's how our podcast episodes are created now in my voice. Yeah. And the crazy thing is the ones that I do, like recording in the microphone myself, get less through plays and downloads than the one that is recorded with my AI voice. I'm a little jealous of her. Like wow. she does so much better than me. That's crazy. And then my number five would be HeyGen. Mm. So HeyGen.com. So with HeyGen, you can clone yourself. So I've cloned myself and this clone of myself does training. So a great example is a girl on my team, Jennifer. She is, is, is she an Asian or is she a real? She's a real human. Oh, I got to ask. Because <laughs> you showed me human. the team and there's a lot of, you got a lot of agents. We so. got a lot of, we yeah. have a lot of agents on our team. We do. But um, Jennifer, the human, <laughs> goes into Hey Jen and she will type in a script that she wants me to say. And my AI avatar will read out that script. And we use it for social media. Um, I was showing one of the amazing girls on your team how our complete onboarding portal is all me my AI agent or my AI avatar, my AI self recorded all the videos. You can't tell the hand movements are there. I'm going like this and it's all AI. And I speak in Spanish. This is what I tell people, like step into it, learn how to do it. And you can go from idea to execution, which is how so many entrepreneurs now and those that are leveraging it will make their millions of dollars faster than ever before. People that we're sitting on the fence with their entrepreneur idea yeah. is now going to be like, I can take my idea and run with it. I tell people, run, go, run, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. And it's crazy when you say that, right? It's, it's unbelievable, but you can build a six or seven figure business with maybe one other person in all AI. That's right. Tools and processes. That's right. And, That's right. and that other person needs to be your person that uses all those AI tools. Yeah. So you can even tell them what you need to get done and they're using AI to get everything done sure. for you. Let's say that somebody wants to create their first digital product and they want to create a um, a course. So they're going to create yeah. a course and record a course. So let's, I'm on ChatGPT right now, but let's skip over to Gamma and okay. use a tool that's a little bit less used. Okay. So this tool is called Gamma.app and it can create your presentations like that. And when I say like that, we're going to time it. Okay. So there's three ways you can create a presentation with Gamma. We could paste in our outlines. If you already have an outline, we can import a file or a URL, but what we're going to use today just for dramatic impact is the generate section. Yeah. So from one line, we're going to generate. So let's say that somebody wants to create, I'm going to say, let's say they want to create a course on the three keys 
the three keys to let's do leveraging artificial intelligence. Mm. So now we're going to click this button right here that says generate outline. Okay. And it's using AI now to take that one sentence and generate all of our content for us that's wow. going to be on this presentation. So you see this presentation right here. So you can see there's our eight slide, eight PowerPoint slides. That's what I asked for was eight PowerPoint. If we wanted 20, I would have put 20. But I said I want eight. Wow. And then you can pick a theme. So I put in my own colors and font that I like, but you can pick any theme or set yours. And then you tell it how much text do you want on a card? Do you want it to create AI images? It's keeping it simple. And we're going to press the generate button. And now is where we start counting on how long it's going to take to create our presentation for you know us. How long it used to take to make a PowerPoint? How long would it take you if you really? had to sit down and create? Look, here's the outline. If you had to sit down. Realistically, for me. Yeah. Probably about five to six hours because I'm not I'm not techie. So yeah, it, it would have taken me at least four hours to create that, and I'm an AI expert. Wow. But so it may have taken me 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we call from you know idea to execution so fast. Okay, so here's our slide. It's creating the content on the slides, the outline. You'll see that it's going to create all the images for the slides. We can download it as a PowerPoint, a PDF, a document. Set it up as a web page so quickly so <laughs> look at this it's so all of this ai generated you see it starts generating the images and anything we can okay stop so that's how long did that take do you think like 20 seconds 20 something seconds <laughs> i believe and again I'll, I'll say this like i don't believe anybody should be looking to hire new people i think you should first thing you need to do is hire an ai consultant True. or an ai integrator and they could come in your business and tell you all the things you're doing. And then there should be somebody, I believe right now, in your business every single day, literally saying, here's what I did today with AI. Correct. correct. Every day. Correct. And then you should have an AI first company where yeah. everyone that you do have on your team is always thinking, all right, Neo, you just told me to do something. Let me see what AI tool I can use to get yeah. that done. So I'm more efficient, more yeah. productive. And yeah you know, making your money stretch farther. 100, and I'll say this to you. I wanna say this to you. I'm looking at you right now. If you are not using at least chat GPT every day on your phone, you're being left. I'm, le I'm, I'm being honest. And then, so great example, my hairdresser, Ashley, she just got a logo done for her business. And she told me this morning that she hired someone to do her logo and he did the logo on chat GPT. And she showed me the logo, so proud of it. It did really look good, right? Mm -hmm. And so we had a conversation about it. And so she said, but tell me, if, if people can do this on ChatGPT, why are they paying someone else to create the logo for them? Right. I said, well, why did you pay someone else to do the logo for you? Right. And she stopped for a minute. She's like, because I don't want to do it and I don't want to learn it. Right. right. And so we both had a good laughing moment because she answered her own question. Yeah. But it's it's so true. So she paid him to do the logo. She didn't care that he did it on ChatGPT. It was about the results. And she yeah. fell in love with the way that her logo looked. Yeah. So just a really good example. So, you know, this person that she hired is just is doing logos for clients like this and just using ChatGPT. A $20 account, $20 a month account to create logos and branding for businesses. Yeah. In uh, 2024, LinkedIn had being an AI consultant the number eight most in-demand job or role in the United States. And then for 2025, it's number two on their list. Number wow. two, do you know what it's like to be number two on LinkedIn's list, an AI consultant? Number one is an AI engineer. Wow. What does that tell you about the times that we're in right now? Yeah, LinkedIn's jobs on the rise, number one, AI engineer, number two, AI consultant. Jeez. And when you looked at a, a few months ago, LinkedIn put out their list of the top, I think it was the top 25 skills that you need to know. And number one was AI literacy. Mm. Number one was AI literacy. Number six was public speaking. And number 10 was understanding large language models like ChatGPT and Claude and stuff. So the times that we're in today, like being an AI consultant, having AI literacy is at the top of the list.